What is going on guys, in this video I will be solving a really simple problem. If you have bricked your motherboard, there are, there are many ways you can brick your motherboard. First, uh, if you hit some wrong things, in, in, uh, if you do some uh, wrong overclocking, if you were uh, updating a BIOS and something went wrong, then you can flash your BIOS, uh, brick your uh, motherboard. If you are using a ASUS motherboard, uh, generally X79 motherboard, then you have a special feature known as USB BIOS flashback. Now a lot of people know what this is or they know what it is but they don't know how to use it. So I'm going to show you how you can do it. Now my motherboard has not been bricked, it's just an educational video so don't get scared. I'm just going to explain it. I cannot show you precisely what it is but in the screen you can see what to do. So you guys, uh, you know, you guys know what to do. Now first of all what you got to do, the first thing, the main thing is don't get scared. You, you, your motherboard is not going to die, you can fix something. Don't, don't worry if you're having an ASUS X70, X79 motherboard. Go to the ASUS website, go to the specific page of your motherboard and download the BIOS, uh, the UEF or Bi UEFI BIOS file from the, from the website. Once you have that, go and get a, a flash drive, make sure there's nothing on it, nothing. Please format it, I don't, I don't care, there should be nothing on it. Copy that file into the USB, uh, uh, the flash drive and once you have copied, everything is good to go. Uh, at the back, your I/O ports. You can see there's one white USB port. That is a, that is a BIOS USB uh, port in which you have to insert your uh, flash drive. Once you have inserted your flash drive, hit the BIOS, uh, the the refresh uh, I, uh, the button, the BIOS uh, like the refresh icon. Hit that thing for at least uh, four seconds. Uh, just uh, continue pressing it until there's a blue LED light uh, flashing. Once it is flashing, it, it, it'll read the file from a flash drive and it'll do its process. Don't worry, nothing's gonna happen. Once you have done that, then you'll be good to go. It's just a very simple solution. A lot of people get scared. They hate something to get scared. I know, I agree. I mean, I would get scared if, if, if that would happen to me, but uh, if you're having an X79 motherboard, uh, specifically ASUS, this is only for ASUS, you're good to go. If you're having like a Gigabyte motherboard, it's having dual uh, 3D BIOS, that is dual UEFI BIOS. That means it's it's very hard to break your uh, uh, your your motherboard, your BIOS, uh, because you have two BIOS, uh, two BIOSes. Is that singular? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you have two BIOS so you, for Gigabyte, there's no problem. But for ASUS, you also have a solution if you're using MSI or something like that. I'm sorry, you're done. You have to get a new motherboard. Sorry for that, but that's the simple solution. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a really simple thing. I'll keep a, uh, I'll keep a link in the description in which another guy, uh, another YouTuber, I forgot, high tech, uh, I just forgot. Now that guy, he has done a specific, uh, specific uh, uh, tutorial on how to do it. He didn't explain a lot and a lot of people didn't understand, but in this video, I'll, I'll show you that you can recover your motherboard if you have bricked it. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. This was Tech Asian and I hope you guys enjoyed this video.